Good day guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a very simple but yet very important modification to the C8. I'm not sure why I haven't done this but uh, it's about time we do it now. Now there's a lot of modifications out there as you guys may be aware for the C8. Uh, most of them are appearance modifications, there are some performance modifications and more and more are coming out every day which is fine and dandy but this is a simple simple modification that doesn't have anything to do with performance or appearance however um, it will save your engine in the long run and that is an oil catch can okay now i've had this this is actually off of a, my original sierra 2017 sierra that i put an oil catch can on and then i traded it in on a uh, that one was a 5.3 i traded it in on a 2018 which was the 6.2 liter and uh you know had this on that for a while until i traded that in on the corvette i pulled it off um thinking that I would use it on the Corvette and I've just never gotten around to doing it. Now, if you guys know the GM direct injection engines uh, like this car and most of the GM uh, V8s, um, you know, there, there's a problem with the valves getting oil deposits on them because the direct injection, uh, injection is below the valves and it doesn't uh, help clean off the valves. Where if you've got port injection, it's on top of the valves and the spray helps clean the uh, valves. You guys can do more research on this online. Just giving you a brief summary of why we do this. Uh, very important. Uh, I know on the trucks, if you don't have an oil catch can in time, you'll find that the engine as it's idling has a little stumble and a little shake to it. And that's usually because of the valves. Uh, they've got oil deposits on them, not getting washed off, and it starts to stumble a bit because the valves aren't seating properly. So um, I thought, you know, why aren't we doing this on the Corvette? I don't know why I've waited so long. I've got about 2,500 kilometers on it. Just had my first oil change last week at the dealership, and uh, I started thinking, you know, why don't I do this? I have this oil catch can. I don't know how hard it is. I've not watched anybody do this yet. Uh, so I'm just going to, you know, go uh, do it on the fly here tonight. Um, but I, I can't see it being that difficult. Difficult. This is a very cheap uh, oil catch can. I think it was like 40 bucks on Amazon or so. Um, it, you know, there's many more expensive ones and guys claim that there's way better ones. I don't know. I bought this cheap one, put it on my truck and guess what? It caught oil, um, it, roughly a container full between oil changes. So it works. Um, I don't know why the other ones would be better. There's $300, $400 ones. This one was like 40 bucks. So I don't know why, uh, you know, you'd buy those ones. Maybe there's a reason. I don't know. But I know that this one works on both of my trucks. It caught a sufficient amount of, of oil between oil changes, uh, which is enough for me to say that, you know, yeah, it works. And I'm going to put it on this car. Um, so there's an in and out on these. You can see here, I don't know if it'll focus in, but that's the outside here. It says out here. Um, and this is the inside. So where it comes from the engine, we're going to go in and then back out to the uh, intake port. But anyway, I again, I have not looked under the hood of this to even see where this is going to be hooked up to. So uh, let's pop the uh, trunk here and see if we can figure out uh, where this is going to go. I can't imagine it being too hard. They're usually pretty simple. Um, already I can see the PCV here, the intake, this is where it goes into the intake. And if we follow it down, it's right here. So very simple. I'll just pop this off and uh, we'll start working on it here. Okay, so GMs, all you do is you simply push in this tab and pull out. Same with this one down here. I'm in eight two hands here, but let's see if we can do it with one and no. So let me put the camera down, pop that off. Be back in a sec. Okay, it's popped off. Now you simply just pop these out of the brackets. Sorry, difficult to do with one hand here, but we got it out. That simple. So this is going to be real simple, guys. I think the hard part will be where we're going to mount it. But that's one, and that's two right there. There's a nipple hanging out there. So I think what we're going to do is find somewhere... To mount this I see a couple of screw holes here uh, maybe I can find a bolt to fit in one of these and we can mount it there 
Now this oil catch can came with a, a mount, uh, a holder here, and it had two bolts. But to make it easier, uh, one of the guys that I worked with, Tim, he created this little bracket here with an extra hole so that we can r run a bolt here and you can get at it from the side to make it a little easier to install. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, use this bracket in one of those holes that we just seen um, and mount it there, and then we'll cut these to fit on the, the existing... Uh, uh, nipples that are sticking out there. Okay, so, so I found a bolt that fits in there perfectly. Um, and when I first went to attempt it, the uh, little studs that I had sticking out of here were touching, uh, not allowing this to tighten up. So I grinded them down uh, so I get a little more room to put this in. So let's give that a whirl. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera for a second. Yeah, and there we go. Here, I'll use my other hand so you can see. And I think that's going to be a good spot for it. It's out of the way. Doesn't seem to be touching anything. I'll tighten that up after. But uh, yeah, that seems to be out of the way. Good spot for it. So now I'll cut these down to fit one of them. Now, there's a little confusion sometimes on these. That if, <laughs> Especially, I've heard some guys at my work even even ask about this. So one side says in, the other side says out. So the inside is coming from the engine into your oil can and then out to your intake manifold. Uh, that That's the way that it's done. I know that's confusing sometimes, but just remember that in is from the engine into the oil can. Okay? So this one, nice and short, we'll cut it right around there. Nice and simple, just like that. And then this one, sorry, I'll try to use my left hand here. So you guys can see, I'm going to Guess let's here, let's get this. Sorry, gotta use my right hand again. I'm going to cut it right about. We're going to cut it right about here. Hopefully that's long enough. Let's give it a little more. We can always cut more off. If we have to. That's good there little clamps on the ends of these before I cut them so I think I'm going to steal these and put them on the end of that. I found it easier to just remove this PCV valve when doing this because uh, it was getting in the way so I popped that out just to get it out of the way and uh, gives me a little more room now to push that on the nipple there. These uh, fuel lines, I'm using fuel lines, that's what I have on here. Um, they're a little smaller than I would like to fit on these fittings, but they did go over top, so I am okay with them. But uh, should probably use one size bigger. I think these are 9.5 millimeters or 3 8 fuel lines, so I might want to go, you know, half inch or something uh, with these. But it's on, and I'm going to tighten them up. Okay, that's pretty tight. Tighten this one. Let's get a shorter screwdriver.
and if we get to put that back on, just pushes in. Real easy clips from GM. They make it pretty simple. And there we go guys, it's in. Nice thing about these is they've got a little dipstick here that you can check uh, the level of the oil that's in there uh, between oil changes and if it's full, just unscrew that bottom tank and take it off. But these are all tight. Um, you know, it's not maybe the best hose routing, routing I've done here, but uh, for 15 minutes, I think that's all this took me. This is a very, very good mod uh, that I would suggest anybody do on any GM engine that's direct port injection. There's a look uh, at it from this side. Nice clean install, looks good. I think that'll work just fine. Don't forget guys, keep this because uh, if you ever do sell or trade in your C8, you know, you might want to put this back on and take off your catch can and use it on another vehicle like I have for the third time. Now something I should mention before we go here guys is that make sure you start your engine and, and, and that there's no vacuum leaks, all right? You'll hear a whistling sound, or you'll feel some kind of air uh, getting sucked in at some of these connections here. I'm pretty confident that there's no problem with these, but uh, I wanted to tell you that before you go, uh, make sure that there's no vacuum leaks, that all these connections are snug. Engine's running smoothly, no whistling sounds, we're good to go. So there we have it, guys, quick video. Uh, on a quick modification, like I said, this maybe took me 15, 20 minutes. Uh, you, you know, you, you have to understand the importance of this. I don't know why uh, Chevrolet wouldn't put a catch can on a performance engine like this, knowing that the uh, oil deposits will get on the valves. Uh, that's you know been proven in the past in their other vehicles. I don't understand why they wouldn't put this as a as a standard option in the car. But anyway, for about let's call it $50 when you figure in some hose and some clamps. Uh, for $50, this will save you some life on your engine uh, and those valves will stay clean. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.